Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we are testing out our Duna Lander. Now I did some previous testing with this not too long ago, but you might notice we are a little bit closer to the planet. I wanted to start us off a little bit closer and we don't have that tank on the bottom anymore. Uh, with launching it and everything that was like the backup tank for all the fuel we I ended up transferring out whatever fuel from the tank that we had on the bottom back to the top again and we got pretty much all the fuel we'll need and I, I did use just a little bit leaving the KSS or well not KSS the Duna space station the DSS and yeah it, it's just been a pretty good trip so I'm thinking we will be landing somewhere remotely close to the what is this Duna Base Alpha? Yeah, that's Duna Base Alpha. I think we should start our burn like eh, nowish. I I really don't know uh, when it comes down to this kind of stuff. I it really does kind of. I I've never actually landed in an atmosphere and tried to land on a specific point where I know that I will be needing to land. I, it's it's a little bit uh, rough, that's all I can say. I, I did not expect that this thing uh, to really try to land at the base or anything like that, so we'll, we'll try our best. I think what I'm going to do is just try to overshoot it just a little bit. Not much. I think somewhere around right here will be good. I don't want to burn too much fuel we do need to save about half and we will be using some on our descent so I don't want to really screw anything up or you know just kind of jeopardize the entire mission because I want to have a little bit of fun now this should be properly tuned but I'm not sure if it is a hundred percent the way I need it to be but we can just do our burn here. It, I don't think we're going to need very much else. What is this little guy in orbit here? What is that? Oh, uh, that... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just... Wasn't sure. Alright, that looks good the way it is right now. I don't think I'm going to change it. Um, you know, if anything, I think we're going to have to burn going this way a little bit. I believe it's this way. Otherwise, we're just going to waste some fuel. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. And we're also, yeah, that, that's actually excellent. Um, you know what, I think for good measure, I'm just going to do a little bit more. It's probably going to come back and bite me, but, you know, what? whatever. Um, yeah, actually we need to go down a little bit more. Alright, that, that looks pretty good. I think that is going to be right on the money, hopefully. Uh, you know what? There we go. I am very indecisive. Okay, so let's get this guy a lot lower. And hopefully we'll be visiting our Duna base and checking out all the goodies. So we'll get the landing legs down. Deploy the landing legs. Perfect. That looks beautiful. That is amazing. So let's see, I got my solar panels in. I don't want to I just want to make sure I'm not going to be destroying anything on our first landing. That would not be good. Really not be good. And just kind of point ourselves down and that's looking perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's just kind of go down a little bit more. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not really complaining with that really not going to I figure since the atmosphere is so thin that we should be able to get away with actually I'll start my burn a little bit right around here all right um, all right there we go wow I was a little bit concerned there all right yeah we're gonna shoot past the base a little bit holy crap um Wow. We're actually not that far off. Turn off the SAS. We don't need it. Alright, and just I'll just let this thing descend a little bit since uh, 
we are losing a lot of L or a lot of speed. We don't really. It looks like you can see the base from here almost, but I, I'm pretty sure that's just all this crap piled up on top of. Yeah, th th I think I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, let's burn off some of this speed going uh, horizontal here. We just want to come straight down. There we go, and just kind of knock it off that way. And just one more for good measure. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to let this come down. And man, these parachutes really do the charm. And they're not even fully deployed yet, too. Which is actually the most amazing part. There we go. That is beautiful. Nice, slow descent. Oh, that is... That is absolutely beautiful. And we're not even that far away. I mean, it is within walking distance. But why walk when you got a rover? You know what I mean? That, that, that just makes more sense to me. So we'll be dumping two of these guys down since there's only, I think, two Gerbils on this station. Or on this base, I should say. Alright, let's speed this up just a little bit. Come on. There we go. I don't. We don't even have a shadow, which... Mostly because we have about a thousand lights on this bottom of this thing. So, there we go. Just fire these engines. We'll slow it down to, yeah, 10, 8, something like that. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Did we damage anything is the real question. Are all the engines intact? Seems like it. Just click them all to make sure. If you, could, if you can click them, they work. So we're within 2.3. How much fuel do we got? I'm feeling a little... Eh, you know, I, I don't know. 2.3 isn't bad. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, we got to rename this thing too. But we'll do that later. So what we will do is switch vessels here. And I will see you in one second. Alright, and we're back. So will you guys get to experience... What it's like to drive over the surface of Duna, it is not fun. We will turn our little headlight on, and unfortunately, yeah, it is just the two of these guys. But the sad part, if you want to call it the sad part, is, uh, yeah, one of them's been living in the rover, and the other one's just been living in the base by himself for one year, 341 days. I'm pretty sure, and just a guess... I am pretty sure they aren't very happy about that. Um, they probably are a little delirious, probably just a little bit uh, deprived. Oh god, we are going way too fast for the surface of Duna, but I will just not touch anything and just let it roll and go on. Yeah, see, I, I just gotta change the name of it, because it's right now it's Duna Space Station Ship, and that's mostly be Jesus Christ these wheels um, you guys I don't know if you guys can see it on the video but the wheels are just jittering around like crazy when I'm uh, applying force and it just looks silly looking I just don't want to get I am just deathly afraid that we're gonna get into some kind of an accident here because we are going just a little bit too fast for my liking oh god <laughs> oh we got a little bit of air just a little bit but this has got to be the most amazing thing I think I've ever built as far as stuff. Uh, reusable landers is something I really haven't delved too deep into. Uh, we did build one for the Minmus base. And, uh, you know, I built one for a few of the ships, but I didn't really plan on, you know, it, it was going to be something that will was going to be disposable. This will be a permanent lander that we will always be able to use to get down to the surface of Duna. So I find it just a little bit amazing that I was be able I was able to pull it off and for everything to work out so well. And yeah, this is just absolutely awesome. But you guys can see it does take forever. We're only going about two and a half kilometers and it is taking us an insane amount of time. So it, it really does just kind of add up as far as driving around along the surface and how much time it actually takes just to get from one place to the other so I could enable the SAS I don't know I, I'm a little bit uh I think we should slow down first if anything come on 
slow. But I'm just fearful that I'm gonna drive right over the hill and just drive right into the the uh, lander here, which would not be good. It's like, hey, you guys! Oh my God! <laughs> Other people for the first time in a year. How do you feel about that? Um, Bill Rock. Yeah, yeah. There you go. How do you feel? You're meeting the first people that you've ever, hey, the first Kerbals, whatever you call them in your language. So we'll put on the brakes and we'll switch craft. Oh my God! Why is it going all the way back there? Oh, because that is within reach. That is still within reach. That is amazing. Oh my God! Switching craft indefinitely. Um. Yeah, that's not what I intended. So I will see you when <laughs> once we reload. And there we go. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened there. A little weird. But let's get our first contestant down. Here we go. Let's just extend these ladders down. And we'll see. Oh, there's my first... Oh, no. Wow. I, I thought there was a design flaw right there because I put a light there. I, I did not remember that I actually put that on an angle. Uh, Rowdily? Rattle, Rowdily? Yeah, we'll do an EBA with you. And you can come down and be the first contestant to join the Duna base. Because I know how much you really wanted to be a part of the Duna base. So I was thinking... The other two, we can actually probably fly over there. I'm not really sure if we can fly them or, you know, whatever, but it, just to make things real quick and, uh, you know, just kind of get everyone down on the surface. We'll get you in here. You can live in the rover for the rest of your life now, and we will get rid of one more. I do have the... Uh, Wait, before we do that, I'm just going to make sure that we're getting some power. Because we are going to run out of power if we don't get the panel out, at least. There we go, that's perfect. Now, I, rem I don't remember, but I swear, you can... I thought you were able to fix these as a Kerbal outside. You were able to fix the panels, but I don't remember. I don't think you can, actually. So you can go over here and join your buddies, and you can, you know, just stay on the surface of Duna indefinitely. And, uh, you know, we, we won't miss you. Put it that way. So, Pat, Pat Top, Pat Top, we will be heading back into orbit. I hope you are ready for all of this. And I believe we'll be taking off heading towards the 90. That makes sense, you know, 90, so... All right, let, let's let's take off. Now I am a little unsure as to what uh, get the SAS on. There we go. I'm a little unsure as to uh, where to start doing the orbital turn and stuff like that. I really haven't delved too deep into all that and really tested anything out as far as taking off. So I, I'm just going to kind of wing it. And we'll call it a day. So get the gear up. Ooh, and get the ladder up too. We don't need that hanging out like that. They should, um, with the remote tech mod, they have something installed where, um, basically if you put too much sideways motion on a piece, or lateral motion, I should say, uh, it will actually snap it off. They should do that with the ladders. I thought that would be kind of a cool idea. At least it will, you know, you don't have to have your ladders retracted out like that and it just looks silly. So it, it would destroy them and make you have to pull them up, back up. So I think I automated most of this stuff as well where we can um, actually do some quick commands or whatever, but I don't really want to try any of that out right now because I'm afraid that we might end up breaking something. Usually, that's kind of how it goes. So I think we need to get up to about 50,000. And I think we're doing our orbital turn just a bit too high. Or, yeah, a bit too low. So 50,000 will be the target altitude. And I think we'll be pretty good. 
So I, I decided to keep one on here too, that way we can actually repack the chutes. I could have done it on the ground, but I decided not to. And yeah, the, the, this is looking pretty good. That's all I gotta say, is I am fairly confident we will be making it back into orbit. And we won't have to send out any more uh, letters uh, that, uh, you know, we lost your son or daughter or husband or whatever kind of relations that they do on the Kerbal Planet. I, I really don't know. I, I don't really want to know. But, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. So, this thing is equipped with just about everything, too. And I, I gotta mention, you know, it also has a spare docking port. I'll put that on there. I really had no idea, because there's not really anything out here that we can dock up to that will fit in here. Like, I can't redock a fueler in here, the refueler in here. But maybe on the space station, we can leave this thing there or something, dock it up at a later point. Uh, this guy definitely has much use, but the other one, I, I really don't know. We, I think we need to get a little bit higher, too, speaking of that, so. I think we're just a bit too low. I think, I think it, I don't know, maybe it's about 40,000 when the atmosphere ends. But let's see. All right, that's 43, 45. I'll leave it there. We'll, we'll call it 45. I'm just going to speed everything up. I mean, the music is on right now, but we are not in space, so I don't know why the music is on. Let's see. Uh, 30, 40. Uh, let's see. Maybe at 40 it, it ends. I think at 40 is probably the ending point for it, maybe? I guess not. I mean, I can't, it's hard to believe that we're still technically in the atmosphere, even though this is not showing that we are in the atmosphere. Alright, yeah, no, no, we're out. Perfect. So let's do a little burn around now-ish. That works. This thing is getting more maneuverable, too. I was kind of worried because it really wasn't that maneuverable when we were in orbit, or when we were, yeah, when we were in orbit before we landed, it was a little bit wonky, and it was not really responding well, so I was kind of worried that this thing wasn't 100%, but I gotta say right now, it, it, it is actually very, very maneuverable and controllable, which is pretty good, not bad, a not bad lander at all, I gotta say, for my first attempt at really making something that's a reusable lander, this really worked out very well. Now we gotta do EVE, and I am not looking forward to that. We will definitely need a fuel station just for, just dedicated for that. Uh, one, getting to orbit with just one stage off of EVE, I, I don't even think that's possible, but um, we could try, definitely try. Vanilla, That I, I don't know, that would be fun. But anyways guys, we have made it from the surface to well to the surface and and to our base and back from the surface back into orbit and we got two new guys down at the base there so hopefully they'll enjoy their stay their indefinite stay so anyways guys uh if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to what you know people welcome and uh yeah i will see you next time